Christmas morning, 2018, one day past Charlotte's due date. Yeah, it's a Christmas baby. It started off like a normal Christmas morning, woke the kids up. Guess what? Guess what today is? It's Christmas! It's a game! Look at all those presents! Yeah. At the very end of opening up all the presents, Charlotte told me that she was starting to have contractions. So what we did was we timed them, and when they got consistent enough, she was finally like, all right, it's time to go to the hospital. So, uh, it's baby time. Woohoo! All right, guys, it's officially baby time, and now we're on our way to the hospital. You ready? Yep. <laughs> contractions. What's up guys, Merry Christmas. It is December 25th and we are actually right now heading into the hospital. It is that time, it's baby time. I can't believe it. It feels like just yesterday I was telling you guys that she was pregnant. It feels like just yesterday I had my daughter. So this is absolutely insane. How you doing, Char? Pretty good. Ooh, I'm sorry, I know you're not feeling good. I'm not feeling good, yeah, I have a cold. It's just a cold, you just take like medicine for it. All right, let's get checked in. So we're in the room right now, and we're waiting for Charlotte to see if she is dilated enough to get admitted into the hospital. Right now, she's like two centimeters, so they said if she keeps dilating, then they're going to admit her. If not, we might have to go home. Spoiler alert, her water broke like four hours after that. So about 20 minutes later, after she was bouncing on this little bouncy ball thing they have in the room, they finally admitted us to the baby birthing room. Got Lois here. We gonna have a baby. We have a baby. Christmas baby. Third time she's been here, <laughs> keeping me calm through all these crazy times. I don't know about oh. that. <laughs> well, we've both Keep been freaking out together. <laughs> So I don't know if everyone else has these problems, but I know with Allie and with Ryan, both times after we got admitted, I started getting really sick. I think it's like just from being like overly nervous, but with Allie, I actually blacked out. And with Ryan, I got really sick and threw up. And this was no different. Basically, we got admitted, and from the time we got admitted, I started pacing back and forth because I was so nauseous and like my stress levels were so high that I just, the only thing that made it feel better was just pacing back and forth. It's like 6.30, and we're still waiting. <laughs> so we've been in the room for probably about five hours, and our midwife comes in to do her like regular checks. Well, about an hour before that, Charlotte was probably like three to four centimeters. So she comes in, she does her checks, and she's like, well, you're seven centimeters, and your water just broke. All right, we are at seven centimeters, and Charlotte's water just broke. Let's do this, time to have a baby. So this is it. This is what we've been waiting for for nine months. The chance to bring a new life into this world for me to become a dad again and for Charlotte to become a mom again and to meet our son for the first time. It doesn't matter that I've already gone through this twice. It's still weighing heavy on me that a new baby is about to be brought into this world. And on top of that, the fear of anything that could happen that's what stressed me out so much in the first place but that's the miracle of life it's that we were able to go nine months plan for this baby and now we're bringing it into the world to meet us and it already has a family me charlotte Allie, and ryan and he is here i couldn't film during the actual like birth not that i probably would have anyway but take your first look
Alright guys, it is the next day. It is December 26th now. Yesterday I wanted to record more, but there was just so much going on. We had to move to a new room, all the tests that, you know, they got to do for the newborn babies. But he's here, Luke, little Luke. Say hi, Luke. So I want to take a second to explain Luke. Um, in my past vlog, we had told you his name was going to be Liam Kai. Liam Kai Shavera. Liar! And it changed. So me and Charlotte were talking about the name right before the baby was born, and she said, did I ever consider another name? And I said, yeah. And we both talked about Luke before we decided on Liam. So she said, well, it's not set in stone that it's Liam. And I said, well, everyone's already been calling him Liam, so let's just call him Liam. Well, the second he was born, he came out, and me and Charlotte kind of looked at each other and were like, he doesn't look like a Liam. So he changed the name on the spot after seven months of us calling him Liam. So introducing the kids to Luke was a little daunting because we changed the name on him. It was Liam. And then also, I know Allie was going to do amazing because she did go with Ryan. But Ryan's a different story. He's crazy. He's all over the walls. And this entire pregnancy, he's been saying that he didn't want Luke to come. Ryan, are you ready to meet your new brother? No. So I didn't know if he was going to like not like him or be jealous of him and try to get all of, you know, Charlotte's attention. So it was kind of daunting, but they both did amazing. I mean, they they saw him and just took to him. I'm going to tell you something. His name isn't Liam. We changed it. What you think, Allie? Good. You love your new baby brother? He's cute. <laughs> I think he likes you. And he got his, his new home. He's sleeping. Me and the wife only got like two to three hours of sleep last night, so we're running on that. But he just fell asleep, so we're going to get ourselves a little nap, too. You guys have seen it in the vlog before. This is Mr. Parker coming here to see baby Luke for the first time. This is also the first time that I've actually whipped out the camera since we've been here. I've been vlogging on my cell phone because I knew I was not going to take this big get up and try to vlog when we're having a baby. I feel like that's bad husband material. So, Charlotte right now is trying to get him to sleep. And me. And her. Is it working? Mm-hmm. Is it? I'm tired. <laughs> I bet. Parker, what do you got to say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on the spotlight. <laughs> Good going, man. You woke him up. <laughs> and just like that, it was over. Two days in the hospital. We get to spend there and... The two days that we spent there were amazing. I've always said that the happiest time I've ever had in my life is the days that I've actually spent in the hospital after our babies were born because nothing matters at all. You're there with your newborn baby. You don't care about finances. You don't care about work, drama, anything else. You're there with your new baby and you're connecting with him and spending time as a family and that's all that matters. So it's kind of a sad feeling when they actually release you and you go home. And that's it guys, it's time to go home with a very non-happy baby. But we're leaving. You ready to start your life, Luke? And that's the story. That's the birth of Luke. Welcome to the world, Luke. I love you.